Simplify, write the answer with only positive exponents. Assume that all variables represent non-zero real numbers. Here we have the quantity, negative two x to the fourth, y to the negative third, all raised to the zero power, times the quantity negative four x to the negative third, times y to the negative eighth, all raised to the second power. Now, let's start with this first piece. Any non-zero value raised to the zero um, exponent has a value of one. So this whole first large factor takes on a value of one. Now let's focus on our second quantity here. Let's apply that two exponent to each of our factors, starting with negative four quantity raised to the second power times x to the negative three raised to the second power. Here we multiply those exponents, so this becomes x to the negative sixth times y to the negative eight times two or negative sixteenth power. We can just drop that one off there. Multiplying by one isn't gonna change the value uh, of our other quantity. Negative four quantity squared is 16. And both of these factors now are gonna come down to the denominator as we change those negative exponents to their positives. So this becomes a 16 over x to the positive six power times y to the positive 16th. Simplified answer, 16 over x to the sixth times y to the 16th.